I have a dream. A what? You know, a dream. Ah, uh, so what? Everyone has a dream, you know, when they sleep or something. The dream I'm talking about here is a goal. You know, not the football goal or soccer goal. Goal! But a goal as in you want to reach this an achievement. Everyone has dreams, you know. Some people want to be jet pilot, some want to be astronaut, some want to fly a jet plane to the moon, some people want to land on the moon, some want to land on Mars, so want to be billionaires, etc. You know, these kind of dreams are usually kind of crazy, they're kind of hard to reach long term, but then there are also some that are rarely simple. But even though they're simple, sometimes it's still easier said than done. I believe that no matter how simple or how impossible or how hard or how crazy it sounds, these dreams should still be respected. Which is why I'll be pouring out my heart and soul to you guys for the next few minutes. Because like everyone else, I have a few dreams of my own. And I'm willing to share my top three with you guys. Just some respect, alright guys? Please? Alright. So let's get on with it! So I guess number three on the list would be for me to master Chinese. This is a Chinese dictionary. I know it sounds weird, you know, like who wants to master another language? Dude, who would want to master another language for their goal? Please let me finish first, okay? As I was saying, I know it sounds weird, but I think it's for my own good. How and why? If you haven't noticed, China is kind of climbing the ladder of power lately and you know, you kind of get a bit scared. Even my grandfather says that China might come on top real soon. So. I'm kind of just preparing for the future. And I, I live in the Philippines, you know, like right below China. So it's pretty scary. So if they try to attack, at least I'll know how to talk to them and could make friends with them. And you know, I think I'm at a pretty good start. I'm actually studying in a Chinese Filipino school and their Chinese is pretty okay. But like I said earlier, this dream is mainly for security in case my assumption is right and China actually goes to the Philippines and tries to come. Uh-huh, okay, I think I get it. So what's, num what's number two? So for fun, on the other hand, number two would be to join the ultimate frisbee team of the Philippines, where I come from. You know, ultimate in this country isn't that popular, actually. Compared to basketball and football, it's not that popular. But I came to love it in grade 7. When my friends introduced Ultimate Frisbee to me, I just fell in love with it. Just immediately. Like, it was meant to be. How do you love Frisbee, you may ask? Well, first you gotta hug it. <laughs> then you gotta kiss it. I love you too, baby. Then you gotta feed it. Comes the train. Here comes the train. Oh, good boy, good boy. No, out of all that other stuff. In short, you gotta treat it like your child. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Obviously, you can't do all of that stuff. Uh, okay. What's number one? I'm, I'm pretty scared to find out. And for the future and the rest of the world, number one would be to invent something really cool like flying cars or service robots or cool robots and give it to the world and <laughs> get rich from it. Like Frisbee, my fascination towards machines and how they work was just like that. The main thing I'm fascinated about in machinery is how they put the different parts together to make it work like a masterpiece. Can you imagine seeing flying cars all around or robots in the streets and then all you can think is, I did that. I did that. Okay. So, we heard your dreams, so what? You know, dude, you're really missing some respect. You know, these dreams, these three dreams of mine, they're actually one of the things in life that keep me going, one of the big things in life that keep me going. They give me hope that in the future, something really awesome will happen to me, and I'll be able to enjoy life to its fullest. You know, Napoleon Hill, he actually said something really helpful that I could really relate this 
Cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of your soul and the blueprints of your ultimate achievement. Thank you and good day to you all.